Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. It's the end of the month. You know what that means. It's time for another plan with me video. I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for the month of July. And just getting straight into things, of course, I wanted to feature some of your recreations of my June bullet journal spreads. The recreations are up there. As always, I love seeing your recreations. You guys are so talented. So keep them coming. If you want to be featured in my next video, you can send your recreations at Amanda Rach Doodles. Make sure you tag me in the photo, not just the caption, because if you just tag me in the caption, I won't be able to see all of them. So if you tag me in the photo, I'll comment, I'll like, and maybe you might see your bullet journal spread in my next video. And one more thing before I go, I have some really exciting news. I've actually started a Patreon. Um, Patreon is something that I've been thinking about starting for a while. It's actually something that I participate in just as a regular user. I just love the community aspect of it and I think it would be perfect because you guys have been asking me for more content, more videos, more bullet journal stuff. If you support me on Patreon, you'll be able to get a ton of different rewards and perks such as a monthly flip through. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check that out in the description box below or wait till the end for more details. Now on to my actual bullet journal setup. This month's theme, as you can see, is daisies and bees. I thought it would be perfect for the summer. It's very bright and fun. And the color accent that I chose to go with is the orange and I did that for the center of the flowers. I know a bunch of you guys suggested for me to do like a coral under the sea theme, but I just did like a water theme for May. So I'm gonna save that for the next one. So stay tuned for that if that's what you are interested in. If not, you can leave a bunch of other theme suggestions down below. I read all of your comments. So I'm gonna hand you guys over to the voiceover. So I hope you guys enjoy my July plan with me. All right, so I was really happy with the way my cover page turned out this month, but onto my monthly log. Last month, I did this sort of traditional calendar layout and it didn't really work that well for me. Um, I think that the vertical layout worked much better for my purposes, especially because this month is way less busy for me. So I just went back to my original layout, except this time I put the numbers in the middle and of course I split it up between personal and YouTube. By the way, the uh, marker that you see me using is the Crayola Super Tips. As usual, I will have all of the materials and supplies that I use linked in the description box for your convenience. But I thought that the words didn't really stand out enough, so I added a white gel pen drop shadow using my Uniball Signo gel pen in order to make them stand out a bit more. There was some blank space at the bottom, so of course I had to fill them in with more daisies. This is something that you will see frequently throughout this video. And then on the other side of the spread, I wanted to do a monthly goals page. I'm thinking of next month doing like a gratitude tracker or a sentence a day kind of thing. I see a lot of people doing that and I'm just afraid that I might not be able to keep up with it. So I will decide for next month, but for now all I have is my monthly goals, kind of just like a master to-do list. I had to put my YouTube growth tracker in the corner, so this is pretty much the same every single month. I just like having this little box in the corner of the month. There was some more blank space beside the YouTube tracker, so I wanted to fill it with some more daisies, of course, but this time instead of doing the same kind of design, I did daisies on stems, so sort of like from the side angle, which I thought gave it a little bit more visual interest instead of doing the exact same type of daisy the whole time. I also added little bees just as an accent because I thought it would be cute. Okay, on to the habit trackers. This month I wanted to try something a little bit different. As you can tell, I'm trying to spice things up a little just to keep me motivated to keep bullet journaling throughout the year, which is something I always recommend for anyone who's feeling a little bored with their bullet journal or a little unmotivated. So usually I do these trackers landscape like horizontal but I decided to switch it up and do it vertical so the numbers again went vertically down and then I just had the habits and the moods going along the top and I actually didn't really like the way that my header turned out I don't know what it was about it so you will see I'll fix it later but on the other side of the spread I did of course my expense tracker and what I like about this layout now that I switched from horizontal to vertical is that all of the trackers are in the same orientation. I don't have to keep rotating the book in order to fill in my lifestyle trackers. So 
So, um, oh yeah, <laughs> more daisies, guys. Gotta add those daisies. You know how it is. But now you're gonna see me fix up the header just because it was really bothering me. I used my handy cream paper just to cover it up and I went with the same style of header as the expense tracker just so that it looked consistent and I like the way that this one turned out way better than how it looked like before. I actually have a whole video on fixing bullet journal mistakes if you're looking for more little tricks like this, so I will link that down below. I'll actually have my whole bullet journal playlist down in the description box, so check that out if you want to see all of them. Right now, I'm adding kind of a drop shadow accent to the side of my calligraphy, which is something that I've been doing a lot. I really like the look of this. Flipping over to the next spread, which is my monthly video ideas and brain dump spread. A lot of you guys ask me what I use my brain dump page for, and this is basically just a page for me to dump the contents of my brain. So any shopping lists that I might have, any lists that I might need for videos, any random ideas, quotes. It's basically just a miscellaneous page for me to put my random thoughts. But for the headers of these pages, I went with smaller daisies. So for the video ideas page, it's a daisy wreath. And then the brain dump one is daisy chains on the top and the bottom. And then of course I added bees buzzing around just because I thought that would be adorable. And I really like the way that these headers turned out. I know I always say that, but this one especially, I really did enjoy this page. And I thought it fit into the theme perfectly without looking exactly the same as the other pages. You guys know I love graphic stock. I've talked about them a couple of times before and I use their stuff all the time and I know a bunch of you guys have told me that you found their website useful as well. So I partnered with them again this month to show you how I incorporated some of their images into my bullet journal theme. If you didn't know, they have the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, and vectors with over 350,000 images. There's a ton of awesome things and how I use it is that I download the vector based images and this allows you to edit the images on Illustrator or on a photo editing software and you can manipulate the color, manipulate the size, and then I basically print these out onto some cream paper, cut them out, and use them as stickers. As you can see, I found some hand-drawn daisies which works perfectly with my bullet journal theme this month, so I will leave the link to these in the description box as well as a seven-day free trial for graphic stock. I highly recommend it. It's such a great resource to have. All right, during one of the weeks last month, I tried a new weekly spread setup and it was kind of like this horizontal layout. And I really liked the way that it turned out. I actually posted a picture of it on Instagram. A lot of you guys liked it as well. So I wanted to do a version that was kind of similar for the first week of July. Um, of course, I wanted it to fit in with the theme though, so I kind of switched it up a little. But this layout works best if you have a lot of tasks. Um, just because there it allows for a lot more space for your to-do list for me I had a section at the top for events and then the bottom section was for my tasks And then of course the numbers divide each space for the day and This is perfect for anyone who's really busy I definitely won't be doing this kind of layout every single week because I don't always need this amount of space for my to-do list but it's nice to have the option and it's nice to switch things up depending on your lifestyle and how busy you are that week because you want your bullet journal to be a complement to your life. As you can see, I'm drawing lines to split up the different sections, so for events and tasks, but another option would be to split it up morning, afternoon, and evening if you want to plan out your day like that. It all totally depends on your personal preference. At the bottom of this spread, I added some more daisies on stems and I wanted it to kind of look like a daisy garden, so I added a bunch of these and I thought that this was so cute. Like this spread just makes me so happy. It kind of reminded me of being a kid again just because these are kind of like the flowers that I drew when I was a kid, but it, it made me so happy and it felt so summery. This theme, like with the orange and everything, it's just a summery theme and I know summer technically starts in June, but I live in Canada, so July is really when summer starts. Okay guys, so we are done for this month's bullet journal setup. Here is the final setup. It's a lot brighter than I normally go for, but I'm kind of digging it. It really, really turned out well in my opinion, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below.
All right guys, so that was it for my July bullet journal setup. As usual, if you recreate any of my bullet journal spreads, be sure to send me a picture on Instagram. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Patreon and give you guys some details about it. Patreon is a platform that I really, really love what they're doing for content creators, for creative people. It's really awesome and I personally actually participate in Patreon just as a regular user. I love supporting musicians and artists on there. And I think it's just a really great way to start a community. So I was toying with the idea of starting one, but I was skeptical because I just don't like the idea of like asking you guys for money. But I realized that a lot of you guys ask me for more bullet journal content, more art content, more photos and everything. And as a YouTuber, it's hard to do this full time. And I don't want to always be doing sponsored videos. I don't want to rely on my AdSense. I just think that Patreon would be the best way for me to be able to give you guys more content consistently. One of the rewards, if you don't know how Patreon works, there's different reward levels depending on how much you pledge. And by the way, you can pledge as little as $1. I wanted it to be affordable for everyone. One of the rewards is actually an exclusive monthly bullet journal flip through video. A lot of you guys asked me to see my finished monthly setup from the previous month. So that is one of the rewards. It's going to be exclusive to my patrons only. I'm also really pumped for this because it's going to be a great way for me to directly communicate with you guys. Some of the things that I'm planning on doing are polls where you guys can vote on my next bullet journal theme, some Q&As, behind the scenes photos process photos, unseen bullet journal spreads. It's gonna be really fun and I hope you guys want to be a part of it. There's no pressure at all to be a part of it. This is just if you want to support me and my content, I would really appreciate it. And don't worry if you can't because nothing's gonna be changing on my channel. The Patreon is just gonna be a place for people who want a little something extra. So the link to my Patreon will be in the description box below so you can check it out. I think that's pretty much everything. Be sure to hit that little bell button if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I love you so, so much and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.